So the last thing we'll look at here in part three um, is hitting the inside pitch. Again, it's a three-part series. If you haven't watched part one and part two, go back, check those out first. Um, part one looks at T-drill for working on the ball away. Part two is working on the inside pitch, but getting jammed and not being afraid to get jammed. And then part three is working on learning how to hit the inside pitch properly. Um, so let's take a look real quick at the video, and then we'll break it down. Now he's going to move the T in and up. When he's going to get out of it, let the big dog eat. He's still working to keep his hands inside the ball. If this is the swing, when he's doing this in the cage, it allows him to do this. No one in the game can reach that high and tight fastball like Dustin Majori can. And it's because he takes his time and he works off the tee in the cage. It's an awful lot of work. So let's talk a little bit about hitting the inside pitch. For one, make sure that we're putting the tee in the correct spot. So you can see he's going to move the, the ball or the tee out in front of the plate. And you want to be making contact with the inside pitch out in front of your stride foot. Um, and you could probably even move the, the, the tee out even further than he has it. In and out. When he's going to get out of it. Right there. Um, so a couple of things to think about when hitting the inside pitch. It's vitally important to learn how to properly hit the inside pitch. A lot of players can hit the inside pitch, I would say, a lot easier than they hit the ball away. It's easier to pull the ball. It's easier um, to get the bat head out than it is to, to let the ball travel for most players. But it's not always easy for players to hit the ball properly. So what you'll see on inside pitches is a lot of players can get there, but they're going to pull the ball with side spin, they're going to roll over a lot to third base, they're going to hook a ball into left field, and they don't get the good spin where they're able to still attack the ball from the inside, square the ball up properly, and get some type of backspin to where the ball can carry into the gap. So it's really, really important to work on pulling the ball and pulling the ball properly. Again, if we watch Pedroia here, the way he attacks the ball, you can see that every ball that he hits has pretty true spin right there. There's no hook spin, there's no top spin. It's driven basically right at the shortstop's head. And anytime I'm hitting off the tee, if I'm working inside, I'm trying to hit a ball through the shortstop. If I'm working middle, I'm trying to hit a ball through the pitcher. If I'm working away, I'm trying to hit a ball through the second baseman. And you can see him do this over and over again. So the path is pretty flat. The ball flight is line drive ball flight. And he's doing it over and over again. Now, being able to pull the ball properly with this type of spin is going to make you a better hitter on the pitch away. It's going to make you a better breaking ball or off-speed hitter because if you know that you can pull a ball without cheating, you're able to let the ball travel on anything away from you in any off-speed pitch. Players that aren't very good at letting the ball travel, aren't very good at hitting the ball the other way, aren't very good at two-strike hitting, aren't very good at hitting, hitting off-speed pitches, typically aren't very good at pulling the ball the right way. And so they have to cheat in and they can't get, they, they cheat in, which gives them no chance in the ball away and gives them no chance to hit an off-speed pitch. And so oftentimes if a player isn't able to hit the ball away, do you want to work on hitting the ball away at the tee? Absolutely. But you also want to make sure you work on hitting the ball inside, hitting the ball properly inside. Because again, once you have the confidence that you can do that, and once you have the ability to do that, it now allows you to hit the ball away much, much better. A um, couple of things to focus on here. A lot of times players will do this drill and they move the ball in and they want to try to stay inside the ball. They want to attack the ball from the inside and they start trying to hit the ball way over here and they start filleting the ball at right field. And so ball flight wise, again, you don't want to hook the ball. You don't want to attack the ball from the outside out here. But you don't want to try to stay inside the ball so much that you push your hands, your barrel drops, and you fillet the ball to the right field. You want to try to drive drive the ball to the shortstop. Square the ball up. Have good ball flight, good line drive ball flight to the shortstop. Um, again, I'll play this video one more time. He's still working to keep his hands inside the ball. If this is the swing, when he's doing this in the cage, then it allows him to do this. No one in the game can reach that high and tight fastball like Dustin Majori can. 
And it's because he takes his time when he hits. So remember, it's not just about hitting the inside pitch, it's about hitting the inside pitch properly with good spin, good ball flight right through the shortstop's head. You're able to do that, it's gonna open up your entire ability to hit the ball, not only in, but hit the ball away. It changes speeds to make you an all around better hitter. So I mean, if you have any questions, leave a comment in the section below, uh, share the video, like it, subscribe to the channel, send it to all your friends, all that good stuff, and we will talk to you later.